So today we're playing Buried, but we are only allowed to use the chalk wall buys in terms of the ones that you have to draw yourself. Not these, the ones that we draw ourselves around the map. We're only allowed to use them. As always, obviously, the round goal is round 30, which honestly, I feel like this is going to be stupidly easy. As soon as we get the SVU back a bunch, just sit in the alleyway, we'll get round 30. Now what I'm going to do is basically say that I'm not even allowed to use the pistol. I'm not allowed to use this neither, just the knife until I get two of the weapons. Now I think the two weapons I'm going to primarily really use are the SVU and the AN-94. I'm also probably going to get the Galva Knuckles just because they will see me through till round 14 and obviously we're not allowed to use the bank whatsoever. I mean at the end of the game I might deposit any points I've got. To be fair I don't think I'll even have any points in the bank but we're not going to use it anyway just because I feel like it's kind of cheating. Let's jump, let's go. If you don't dolphin dive in that, then you've never played Berry clearly. I suppose technically we could use the Remington as well but I don't know why you'd pick that when we have literally such a better opportunity um with the weapons in there now i'm kind of worried that this zombie's gonna like double swipe me because he's running quite quick he sounds like he's right behind me ah shit it's all good right let's try this again i've just come down in round one because obviously the last time well we saw how that went um i got downed in here on round two because I was, I was just Really silly. I'm just a bit of an idiot. Smash it, Leroy. Do it. Thank you. Is it going to spawn there, the booze? Now, we need the booze to open up the chalk weapon buying place. I don't actually know what that building's called. Go oh, yeah. Gunsmith, obviously. Then you've got the saloon. Honestly, this has to be one of my favourite maps. I know a lot. It's very hit or miss. Some people love it. Some people hate it. But what we can all agree on is definitely the best Victus map. If anyone thinks Die Rise and Transit are better than this, or even Tag the Totem. I mean, you're wrong. All right, we'll put the N94 here, and we'll buy it straight away away so we have a nice reliable gun and then we're going to get the SVU and put it up there and then that'll be our two weapons that we're going to use throughout this journey to round 30. Now obviously the setup on Buried sometimes takes a little bit longer than other maps not quite like Revelations or Zetsubo or even Mob of the Dead for that sake but it's a little bit longer than the ones I'm used to I normally obviously play Black Ops 1 world at war where it takes all of three seconds to set your games up is that gonna go i think yeah i think we're good with that oh he's only gonna done it and he's got 1300 points out of it lovely oh i might need to put the actual power on what we're gonna do is grab galva knuckles and we're gonna not open that door to get power on we're gonna open up through this way plant the galva knuckles we're then gonna get jug and then save up for galva knuckles i would get galvas right now if i could but obviously i don't have enough points and um, so i'm gonna get jug first just to be safe because i don't want to die we did before I died in round two but we we do want quick revive i'm not doing on the other videos i was trying to do it in one life i'm not doing it anymore because i never complete the challenge i always die like when i try and get round 30 i always die at like round i don't know 27 28 now i know it's like wall weapons only but I am going to allow myself to build the likes of the trample steam. Place that there. Wait for it to wind down. And go. Bosh. Another thousand points. Alright, you're going to do me a favour. You're going to smash that open for me with a bit of points. Then, we're going to get the other booze. And we're going to open up. And we're going to plant the AK-74U. Get Galvers. And we're living life. You come with me, brig boy. That might not have done it. But I also don't want to go down. Oh, that's good. Oh, it's going to get double points in it as well. Oh my god, yes. Nice. I always say they should have brought these back more, not just in... What did they bring? Did they bring back an Alpha Omega or was it Tiger Stoughton? I can't even remember. Barely played Black Ops 4. They should have brought them back because they didn't do them justice. Galva Knuckles are unbelievable. Right, how do we get back up to Quick Revive? I'm not going to lie, I don't have the foggiest. One thing I never understood was how to use these like tunnels. They always baffled me. I knew it. I'm so smart. I'm intelligent. I never... Honestly, I've never fully understood these tunnels. I know they're like really simple, but the thing is... All the years I've played this map, I've never actually went through the tunnels. I've always just played it normally. Smash it. Yeah. Smash it. Open up the house for me. Yep. Lovely. Nice. Right. Ah, oh, well, that was a waste of points. Well, pretty much, honestly, once we get to, like, a decent round, we're pretty, pretty much there. To be fair, what I didn't do, though, is smash open the well like I said I was gonna. Oh, did I? I don't even know if that smashed, you know. I might have already done it. Literally, I have the memory of a sieve. Fuck it, we're just going to go and find out. If not, we'll just come back through the hut. The hut? The witch's hut, what the hell? I meant the fucking witch's house. I always remember playing this when I was younger, thinking if you don't have the ray gun, you'll struggle in this house. Like, bro. <laughs> it's so easy. Don't give me mule kick. Oh, nice. Did I do it? I did do it. The best part about Vulture Raid is just like the green mist. Uh, obviously, 
The armor can be quite helpful, especially got the paralyzer, because it kills. I'm pretty sure it kills it down quicker. That that might be me talking shit again. I normally do. The ammo can be okay. The points is literally pointless. Like five points. I just got five points. So all we need to do now is wait for the lights to come back on, which I believe will come back around round twelve, either twelve or thirteen. Another really cool thing about this map, and well, just the Victus maps on Black Ops 2 overall, is the perma perks. Such a good idea. That like perma PhD. PhD deliberately wasn't in the game. Part of I think it was grief. It was on Mob of the Dead or something. So the brighter back is like a perma perk thing where you gotta do a certain whatever and you get it. Same with the perma box thingy where um, you get better box luck, uh, perma jug, everything, it was awesome. Obviously some of the perma perks are better than others. Perma PhD will always be people's like favorite. Personally, I really like perma jug and, and just perma perks. You go down, you only lose quick revive, insane. What I'm gonna do is as soon as them lights come back on, oh look, there she is, the bitch, she's in the window. Shoot it. Once the lights come back on, I'm just going to buy this for you and go pack a bunch of both weapons. Mainly because the galvanicles will pretty much run out by then anyway. And the lights are on. Right, round 12. Yeah, we'll go do it now. Right, let's go pack a bunch of my gun now. And if she comes down, we kill her. Stamina up. No! So we're going to wait until round 17 to get stamina up if we fancy it, if we want it. Linking back to uh, perma perks. Um, there's something, I can't remember, there's like a perma headshot sniper one as well, where if you kill them with a sniper, you get a certain amount of points from it or whatever. See, realistically, I didn't need to get these guns back a bunch. This is probably still be one-shotting. I've got double tap, so... This is ridiculous how quick these rounds are going. So basically, this video is you watching me get set up and buried. That is the entertainment. The rest of it is going to be about two minutes long, so from round 12 to 30 is going to be about two minutes long because i'm literally, literally just going to be me sat here for like 10 minutes <laughs> round 16 round 17 round 18 round 19 and that will make it round 20 now that literally took me about five minutes to get from like 14 to 20 which is ridiculous what we're going to do we're just going to quickly go and get the last perk we don't need it at all but we may as well it's free you know Oh, where the fuck did you come from? And that should be my stamina. Oh, wow, the difference straight away as soon as I click the sprint button. Oh, wow, that's so much nicer. Now, what I've noticed with this SVU, it's not one hit into the body. I thought it was better than this. I know it's like round 20. I got double tap and everything. Wow, and my accuracy is absolute dog wank. Wow. I'm actually preferring using the AN94 than I am using the SVU. It seems more reliable. Look at it. An absolute beast. I know I'm like cutting most of this out, but I don't really know what to say. I'm sat in an alleyway with seven perks, shooting them with an AN94. I'm not even using the SVU. This may as well just be the AN94 only challenge. Look, it's just too easy. I know it's only like round 23, but... An assault rifle shouldn't be this good, especially if you're going to give it this much ammo. I know one of the main, like, complaints of Black Ops 1 was obviously had the likes of the Galil, which was... Well, not even the Galil, the Galil had a lot of ammo. The Commando and the Famas, which were really good weapons. They just didn't have much ammo. So they thought, okay, we're going to make a gun that's even more overpowered than the Famas and the Commando. And we're going to give it three times as much ammo. I'm not complaining because it's making this game stupidly easy. It's more fun, I suppose. Um, because I like a challenge in game, but I don't like the challenge to be that you can't get ammo for a weapon. Or that it runs out straight away. That's annoying. I'm not actually going to grab that nuke because the nukes are now slowing down the round. Basically, the amount the nuke kills in the time that I could have killed them with the AN-94, it's nowhere near as much. What's even more overpowered about this strat, we're using the A94, which has a silly amount of ammo. We've also got Vulture Aid, which keeps giving it ammo. It might only be one or two bullets a time. I mean, you just saw there. I've got ten bullets just like that. And there's another round done. Right, so I'm not too worried, but I have noticed a big performance drop in both these weapons. Especially this one. I mean, headshots are still good, but you only get 11 shots per and you've got to be accurate. This A94, though, as soon as a couple of them spawn at the same time, you start kind of having to spray, uh, spray and pray a little bit. It just, I don't know, it just, round 25 to 26, it fell off fast. And this is the last dude, I think. Bosh. Right, round 28. Two more rounds. It's like a three or four shot kill to the head with this A94 now, which I'd still class as pretty good. And when, once you get an insta-kill, well, life's just fucking brilliant. Just throw a couple of grenades. Just let them do the rest. Fuck. Oh, I was lucky. Oh, shit. Got 100,000 points already. Fucking hell. Right, come on. All spawn. Th oh, yeah. This is what I wanted to see. 
fucking mad spawn rates. Another max ammo. You have no idea how many max ammos I've had this game. Honestly, it's been about 12. And that's since, like, round 14. So that round took basically a minute and a half. Yeah, we are 100% getting this round 30 within an hour. Um, I mean, it's technically within like 50 minutes because of the first game. I don't know what's classed as quick. Like, I know obviously on a Sheen or Numa, it's something like, I don't know, it's 20 something minutes, about 20 minutes. Kino de Toten, the fastest, is like 28 minutes. Which is, if you think, that's insane considering it's less than... That, that's less than a minute per round. That's impressive. Because once you get to like round 20, the rounds do start to, you know, they take a bit longer. Even even getting to round 10 in 10 minutes can be, can be somewhat difficult. And there we go. Round 30. That easy. I can't believe how easy that was. Well, that was round 30. Um, the wall... What, 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 what's the challenge got? I don't know. The chalk weapons only on berry challenge. You enjoyed, obviously. Let me know. Um, we can do more shit like this. More challenges. Two box challenges. All that shit. So just let me know in the comments.